Albert Einstein was not only an outstanding physicist and mathematician. He was also a devoted amateur musician who played with some of the great performers of his time. Einstein was a huge admirer of Wolfgang Amadeus Mozart since the age of 13. It was the violin sonatas that really became favorite works for Einstein which he played throughout his life. The Sonata K301 in E minor was reportedly one of his most loved and enjoyed. The music of Mozart is of such purity and beauty that one feels he merely found it that it has always existed as part of the inner beauty of the universe waiting to be revealed. Einstein began to study violin at around the age of six. He had around ten different violins throughout his life, each receiving the nickname of Lena. Einstein's second wife Elsa reported to have said she'd fallen for him as he played the violin, so beautifully. Einstein was apparently offered the opportunity of owning and playing on a Garneri violin, but chose a less distinguished make instead. His last violin was given to his grandson Bernhard Caesar who kept it safe until his death in 2008. His mother, Pauline Koch Einstein, was by all accounts an excellent pianist and it was her who tutored Einstein during his early musical explorations. It is claimed that while improvising at his piano Einstein came up with his relativity theory. Einstein owned a Bechstein Grand Piano whilst living in Berlin. He had it sent across the Atlantic when he took up residence in America in 1933. Towards the end of Einstein's life, he found that the tone he was producing on his violin no longer pleased him, in which he chose to improvise on the piano instead. Early in his career between 1923 to 33, Einstein toured the Far East including Japan. It was in Japan that he heard for the first time, traditional Japanese music. Einstein noted in his journal, of great interest to me was Japanese music. He was referring to have heard Japanese, no, music a traditional form of music that includes dramatic and dance elements that dates back to the 14th century. It may well have been the formality that surrounds this type of music that appealed to Einstein. For the roles taken up by Einstein in the musical world. Bloch was a Swiss-born composer, 1880-1959, who has on many occasions been likened to Beethoven. The Ernest Bloch Society, was founded in 1937 in London with Albert Einstein made an honorary officer. These offices were also afforded to notable individuals like Sir Arthur Bliss and Sir Thomas Beecham. Einstein was made the president of the Princeton Symphony between 1952 to 55. When Einstein died they held a memorial concert that as Einstein would have thoroughly approved of, including Bach's cantata No. 106. Einstein's thoughts on seven famous musical composers. It is impossible for me to say whether Bach or Mozart means more to me. In music, I do not look for logic. I am quite intuitive on the whole and know no theories. I never like work if I cannot intuitively grasp its inner unity. Schubert is one of my favorites because of his superlative ability to express emotion and his enormous powers of melodic invention. But in his larger works, I am disturbed by a certain lack of architectonics. Schumann is attractive to me in his smaller works because of their originality and richness of feeling, but his lack of formal greatness presents my full enjoyment. In Mendelssohn, I perceive considerable talent but an indefinable lack of depth that often leads to banality. I always feel that Handel is good, even perfect, but that he has a certain shallowness. I find a few leader, songs, and chamber works by Brahms truly significant, also in their structure. But most of his works have for me no inner persuasiveness. I do not understand why it was necessary to write them. Einstein felt that Beethoven was too personal, almost naked. Einstein makes comment on Wagner's personality as indescribably offensive so that, for the most part, I can listen to him only with disgust. While Einstein can admire Wagner's inventiveness, his lack of architectural is little more than decadent. 5. Einstein's Quotes on Music Life without playing music is inconceivable for me. I live my daydreams in music, I see my life in terms of music. If I were not a physicist I would probably be a musician. Life is like a piano, what you get out of it depends on how you play it. 
It occurred to me by intuition, and music was the driving force behind that intuition. My discovery was the result of musical perception. This quote is alleged as a result of Einstein being asked about how his theory of relativity came to him. Bonus quote. Music helps him when he is thinking about his theories. He goes to his study, comes back, strikes a few chords on the piano, jots something down, returns to his study. Einstein's wife Elsa.